If you want to sell your digital products automatically on Instagram, well, I got a solution for you today. So I've sold thousands of students into digital products. And today I want to break down exactly my formula on how to sell your digital products easy peasy right on Instagram. Now, one big disclaimer here, it's going to take some work, okay? I know everybody loves to tow passive income and passive this and passive that. And while it's, I would say definitely semi-passive, 70 to 80%, it's not 100% passive. There is still some work involved. So let's get into it. In this video, I'm going to break down my full process on exactly how to do it with examples so that you can take your ideas, turn it into an offer and sell it on Instagram, even in your sleep. So let's get started. If you're new here though, my name is Lizzie Sutton. I'm an online business coach and I specialize in helping online coaches, course creators, service providers generate leads on autopilot, leveraging the power of Instagram ads. Um, but I also know a thing or two about selling lots of different offers um, through whether it's a digital product, courses, services, coaching programs. And I'm just here sharing my knowledge um, and $2 million plus later, I've got a lot to say. So let's break it down. Let me pull up my screen. I'm going to walk you guys through my process and just show you how to get started selling automatically on Instagram. So let's get into it. So let me share my screen. I have a little doc here um, and let's talk about it. So first things first, right? I want you guys to focus on Instagram. You have to understand that when you are going into selling your digital products, you can't be on every single platform. I've seen so many coaches and so many course creators and so many content creators try to be on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook, on, you know, wherever you can be on a platform and they're wondering why they're not getting results. You have to get focused and go all in on Instagram. Okay. So if I can give you the biggest piece of advice before we keep moving forward is you have to focus on Instagram, okay? Instagram is an amazing platform. There's a lot of different ways to use it. And honestly, it's made me the most money. And it's honestly my favorite place to show up outside of here on YouTube, of course. But Instagram is going to be the place that you can give your all. So just put everything else to the side for right now and focus on Instagram. Now, let's kind of talk about the first tangible step. So your offer and digital product, right? It needs to solve a problem. I've talked to so many course creators and digital product creators and coaches, and they have different offers, but they're wondering why it's not selling. So first things first, we need to figure out if your digital product is a product that people want um, and not only want, but can afford to buy. There is a sweet spot, I would say, for digital products, and that's going to be usually anywhere between 27 and 297. Anything more than that, is going to require additional steps like a full funnel um, and different like sales psychology and things like that to sell it. But for the most part, you can usually sell straight from checkout, anything from 27 to 297, um, even if you're a little bit earlier on in your journey. Now, let's kind of talk about when I say, does it solve a major problem? So there are going to be three major niches that you can be in, and there's obviously going to be sub markets. So you want to solve, pick a problem that is already popular that's already being solved in the market and when people when i tell people that they're like oh my gosh latisse like what the heck there's already people selling coaching programs about how to lose weight or selling courses about that so there's already you know how many different i mean i have a starbucks right here um with a diet coke in it but i did have starbucks earlier how many people, how many coffee shops are in the, in the world? How many toilet papers are there? How many different dish soaps are there? Like there's how many different car brands, right? That should not stop you from living out your dream of serving your ideal client based off of your experience, okay? So I want you to understand that at the end of the day, you have to own that shit that you are good at what you do. And now you got to take it to the next level because there's people, and sometimes I think we forget there's people two to three to four steps behind us because we've been doing whatever our expertise is for so long that we forget there are people that are brand new, brand new to lifting. In my case, brand new to Facebook and Instagram ads or brand new to creating content on Instagram or brand new to high ticket sales or brand new to digital products. So we have to not dumb it down, never that, but we have to be able to clearly and concisely share our expertise in a way that people can consume it. Now, there are gonna be different ways that people consume content and offers. And this isn't really a... Um, a 
video about that. I will create another video on how to like make a digital product go viral um, and how to get a digital product that everybody wants. I can definitely create another video on that. But the core of it is having an offer that people not only want to buy, but can afford to buy. And like I said, that price point is solid between 27 and 297. And then at the core of that, it should really filter into a health niche, wealth niche, or relationship. Are you helping people get healthier? Are you helping somebody solve a major health problem? Are you helping people make money, whether it's in their career or their business, um, get clients, get sales, um, grow their ROI, doing something for them? Or are you helping them figure out how to find love, right? Now there's definitely different subcategories, but your offer and product should fit into that. Okay, so that's going to be the first part of that is really just making sure that your offer is something that people want. And there's different ways to test that out. You can split, you can ask your current audience, whether you have an audience of 30 or you have an audience of 30,000. Hey, would you be interested if, you know, if I created a mini workshop that's $97 on how to count your macros without giving up foods that you love, like lose weight without giving up foods that you love, would you be interested? And if you get a heck yes, great, there's people in the market that want that. So you can get started putting that together. Okay. So again, very, 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 very high level overview, but it's really about asking the market for feedback. And then also looking at your competitors to see if they're already selling something similar, obviously you're not going to go copy them, but you're going to look at, um, you know, the, tr the opportunities right now. So in the health niche, like weight loss medication and not saying that you're going to go sell something about weight loss medication, but can you create an offer that says you don't need weight loss medication to, to lose weight? You don't need surgery. You don't need these tummy teas, like, you know, really positioning yourself in a place of going against what's popular often is really helpful. And then also on the flip side, being a part of what's popular is really helpful, right? Like my marketing, you see very heavily on Facebook and Facebook groups. Um, the core is the same of helping people get clients, but as the market kind of evolves, like Instagram right now is where it's at. And eventually it might be YouTube again, eventually it might be Facebook again. So it's really about positioning your offer in a place of speaking to the most desire, desirable and then creating offers around that. It's not rocket science. I think a lot of people overcomplicate it, but in reality, if we could just focus on what people really want, you know, by looking at trending headlines and looking at um, what's popular and making sure that our expertise fits into that, creating an offer and a product around that will always win. Okay. So that's the first thing. So we have to have our offer and product that people want it has to be priced accordingly. And it also has to be something that you're passionate about. People need to feel the conviction in the sales. Okay. Number three. So how we're actually going to start selling on autopilot. So first things first, you need a checkout page. My recommendation is to send people to one link in your bio. You shouldn't have multiple links or anything like that. So you want to send people to one link in your bio. So there's two things that I recommend. I recommend if you like it to be really easy peasy, Stan store is amazing. I'm actually a Stan ambassador. Shout out Stan. I love Stan. Um, and if you want to be able to send your IDO clients to a um, very easy checkout process, um, you can use Sandstore. So this is what the Sandstore behind the scene looks like for me. Um, but on the front end, this is what it looks like. Let's go back here. This is actually what it looks like right on the front end. So I usually have no more than one or more, no more than three links in here, but you want to have one clear link in your bio, like I said. So when you look at my Instagram, you can just see Sandstore right here. Um, and then from there, once you click on it, it takes you to my actual Sandstore. So you want to make sure that you have very clear on what it is that you do and how you help people. And then from there, if you're just starting, you're going to probably just have one offer, um, send them to one offer and one offer only. Now that I have been around for a while, I have multiple offers. Um, and I will send people to maybe a couple different things, but for the most part, you want to stick to one thing because when you give people too many choices, they have decision fatigue and they won't make a choice. So send them exactly where you need to send them with your digital products. Now, what I will say about Stan is there are some, you know, some cons, but if you are just going to be selling digital products, it's not that big of a deal right now. You can't really track conversions with Facebook ads and things like that. Um, there's ways around it, but for the most part, that's not there yet. I know they're working on a lot of integrations right now, but you can't really fully track it. So, um, that would be one downside. So for me, I'm a more advanced marketer. I use Stan to send people to my links, but I often have my links going to another software called Thrivecart. Really quick though, why I do love Stan is because you can basically put your digital product here and when your IDO client clicks on it, you have like a short bio with the price point at the top. And then from there, you can tell them what they're going to get inside of it. And then from there, they can join right away, right? They name their email, 
you put your terms and conditions and then they can, if you have the pro plan on stand the $99 a month one, you can activate Klarna and Afterpay so people can get in on like a really flexible payment plan. You get paid up front and then that customer is on a payment plan. They complete it right here. And then with Stan, you can send them to the download right away. They'll get access right away. Um, it's really amazing. And you can do a lot of stuff in Stan. And I say, if you only ever want to sell digital products, you really don't really need more than Stan, to be honest. Um, but if you want to get one step fancier, I personally really love Thrivecart and I'll show you why. So Thrivecart, one of my really great um, digital products I sold for a limited time was Reels That Convert. And basically what this is, is a two hour workshop on how to create really great reels. And this is what Thrivecart looks like. So it's a little bit more advanced, um, but why I love Thrivecart simply for the fact is there's additional um, payment options, right? And there's additional payment options, but you can really make it look like a full, fully fledged sales page. And then really why I love it is you can do coupons. So coup people love a good coupon, honey. So coupons have been amazing and I will show you why. So when I go inside of my Thrive Cart, I already have Reels that Convert pulled up here. You can see here that um, we've sold $8,100 just on the main product alone. And you can see here at the bottom, we use coupons and we've saved people over $4,600. With Stan, as of right now, um, when I'm filming this, there's not really a way to do that. But with Thrive Cart, you can. Okay, so it's really, really awesome. The other thing too is that with Thrive Cart, you can really check what I call order bumps. Um, it's not my original term, but it's called an order bump. So you can increase the cart value. So you can see here on the main offer, I sold $8,100, but with the order bump, I sold an additional 2813 and over 44% of people took me up on that offer, which is amazing. Okay. So I made an additional almost three grand just from the order bump. So this is why I really love thrive cart. There's so many more analytics. It's way more in depth. Um, and if you're looking to take your digital product to the next level, definitely check out Thrivecart. It's a one-time fee. Um, I'll include a link below for both Stan and Thrivecart. But if you know you're going to be taking this, you want to get way past 10 or 20K a month, Thrivecart will definitely be the place to go. Um, and I love Stan as like a really clean bio. And also if you're just getting started out, Stan's a great place. Um, and if you like simplicity, Stan is your go-to. You can't go wrong with either or, okay? So you need a place to take payment and be able to describe what it is that you're selling, okay? And it also Thrivecart and Stan can both deliver the product. So you don't have to do anything extra. So if it's a mini course or a workshop or a download, Stan and Thrivecart both can deliver the product to the customer once they purchase. All right. So the next thing I want to show you is, so now you have that offer, right? So that offer is going to sit in your bio. It's going to sit right here, right? And you want to make sure you have an optimized Instagram, right? We've talked about this before, but be really clear on what it is that you do. Give some social proof. If you're just starting, that's okay. Um, but you want to give them a call to action to learn your strategy or grab your free or not grab your free. Um, it could be a free opt-in, but you could say grab my method or grab my playbook or whatever it is. Give them a strong call to action here in your bio. And then from there, have your one link hit a in the bio. Now, the next part of this is like, okay, cool. You're like, let's see, well, you have 21,000 followers. Good for you. But like, if I'm just starting out, how do I get more traffic? Right? Because Here's the key that I need you guys to understand about selling your digital products. What most people don't want to be honest about, you need traffic. Traffic is just like gas going into a car, unless you have a Tesla or something. You can have the most beautiful car, the most brand new car off the lot, but if you don't have fuel, if you don't have gas going into that car, it will not move. So it's the same thing with your offer. If you do not, right, repeat after me and listen very closely, you guys. If you do not have new eyeballs finding your checkout page every single day, that checkout page we just created, right, on Stan or Thrivecart, it doesn't matter. It's just like putting it up and watching paint dry. That's what it's like. So instead, we need to realize that we need traffic. Now, there's a couple of different ways to get traffic. So let's talk about it. The first way to get traffic is through, you can get traffic through reels and quotes, okay? So this is like, really powerful. Um, this is attraction content. Now I will say I'm not a big fan of relying on the algorithm, but the algorithm does work and it does work well. So if you're just getting started out, reels are going to be the best way to get new reach. And then quotes and like carousels are going to be, well, we'll talk about carousels in a second, but reels and quotes are going to be the best way to get new people and quotes. I mean, just like one quote at a time. So you guys have ever seen like meme pages 
or pages like that, that is like really, really powerful. Um, let me show you what that, when I say like a quote page. So let me kind of show you what a good quote page looks like. And I'll just kind of show you one that I've come across recently. Um, here's what a good quote page looks like. So they just have really powerful quotes and it's very shareable. And that's going to allow people to find out about your account because you're sharing it. And when something gets shared, people come follow you, et cetera. Okay. So that's one way. Um, but you do have to have growth, right? So I would say if you're just starting out, reels are going to be the best. Now, let me kind of show you what a piece of attraction content looks like. So you really want your attraction content to be broad and a little bit more mass market. So for me, this is a piece of attraction content. This was like, let's normalize making passive income in 2024. And I told them some value, tell them how to do it. And then from there, it was like a six, um, sorry, how long was this real? Um, I would say anywhere between like five and 10 seconds is good. And then you can see when I say attraction content, you can see I got 170 new follows, which is what you need. You need new people following you and new people engaging with your content. Okay. Real still in 2024 at the end of 2024 is the best way to do that. So you want to create reels that do that for you. Okay. Um, and then from there, what we want to think about as well is, um, so reels and quotes are going to be great. Um, another way to get attraction content is turning your reels, your best reels into paid ads. Um, and I talk about that a lot in my course, Supercharger Reels. Um, it's one of my mini courses. It's amazing. So definitely check that out in the link below. But I'm always of the, the nature of like, why work harder when you could just work smarter? So for me, like, if there's a reel that's done really, really well, I'm going to just boost, not boost it, but I'm going to set it up in ads manager. I'm saying boost because you're like giving it a boost, but you're actually setting it up in ads manager and letting the reel get more and more reach and engagement. Because you know, if it performed organically, I would say 90% of the time it will perform really, really well through an ad. Okay. So you can start doing that as low as like three to five to $10 a day to get more people to your, your, your profile and you're building that audience and you're getting more people to click the link in your bio because naturally when people find you, they're going to click your link in your bio. Okay. So that's like three different ways to get traffic reels, quotes, and then supercharged reels by leveraging real simple, real ads. Okay. Um, so if you want to learn how to set up real ads and learn how to create reels, I'll create, um, a link below in the description to give you more context, but that's going to be really beneficial and helpful for you. Now let's kind of talk about the next part. So now you have traffic, right? And what I need you guys to understand about traffic and why digital products are very, amazing. And also I'm setting the realistic standpoint is that you actually need a lot of traffic. You need a lot, a lot of traffic. Okay. So on average, and like I showed you, and this is why I love Thrivecart on average, between one and 3% of people that see, check that link will convert once you have an optimized page. Now there's definitely sales psychology and things that go into that. That's not what this video is about. I will go deeper in sales psychology and how to write sales pages and checkout pages in another video. But I have an optimized page and 3% is really, really solid. It's actually on the higher end. Most people will convert around 1%. My pages usually convert around 3, 4, 5, 6%. So to be safe, 1 to 3% will convert. And as you guys can see here with my reels that convert for product, 2,400 cart views, 3% conversion rate, okay? So it's probably actually closer to four. So that's that. You're going to need a lot of traffic. So in order for me to get more sales, I need more traffic. I can do more reels about this offer. I can do more carousels and I can also run more ads to get more people to view it. And then I can know out of every hundred based off of my numbers, which is a substantial amount of data, three out of a hundred people will buy this product, which is amazing. Okay. So next thing that we need to think about is content. So carousels are really, really powerful from a point of view that they really keep people on the platform. And then they also they educate and they give a lot of value and they solve a problem. Okay. So let me kind of show you one of my carousels that has performed pretty well recently. Um, it is going to be, let's see here, this carousel right here, although it only got a hundred likes, which is on the lower side for my account, not right now with the way the reach has been, but it got a hundred likes, but it bought in like five or six sales. Okay. So I basically said, you know, I made a statement, Instagram ads without a picture, get more leads than ones with Instagram carousel ads, bring in the highest quality leads. I kind of gave them value based off of my expertise and my knowledge. And then at the end of this carousel, I said, if you want the tutorial and templates on how to do this, 
comment the word ads. And then as you can see, tons of people commented, I gave them a call to action. And then I think four or five people bought from this carousel along. Okay. So not bad for 10 minutes worth of work. Um, cause the product and offer has already been created. So you want to mix in carousels to re-engage the audience that you're building because it adds, this is more like nurture content. I'm not necessarily, as you can see, I'm not necessarily gaining a lots of followers and things. I got one follower from this post, but what really matters is the sales that I got. Okay. So Follow, carousels work really well to nurture and re-engage the audience that you already have. Now, let's kind of talk about another way. So you could do a series, um, whether it's a carousel or a reel. And I think as a, this should actually go above, but series are really powerful because it gives you authority and it shows consistency. So here's some examples of series, mom, day in the life of a stay at home mom, part-time, right? Health and fitness, realistic, what I eat a day, your life or mindset coach, what I wish I knew in my twenties and thirties now that I'm over 50, marketing, Canva hacks, you know, that you didn't know part one, et cetera. Okay. So this kind of establishes authority and whether it's a carousel or, or a real, you want to give a call, a call to action in every single one. Now, when I say call to action, you guys have seen all, like all of my content will say like comment the word or DM me the word, like here's an option, right? Comment the word course. I posted this back in March and I got tons of people to opt into my free mini course. So you always want to give a call to action, op, ugh, a call to action. So, cause humans, like we love to be told what to do. So when you're creating your content, you need to ask people to take the next step. So you can make these for people to buy just like that carousel I just showed you guys, right? That carousel was asking people essentially to buy. It was like, comment the word ads. If you want my workshop, this one was asking people to opt in for a freebie. If you're making digital product sales, if you want to make sales every day, you've got to ask people to buy from you every single day. That's just how it works. Okay. So as long as you're doing that, you can automate this process. I'm not manually sending people the link, right? That would be crazy. I, you know, at the beginning we used to do that, but now that we have automations, I'm actually automating it with a software called mini chat. Mini chat's amazing because it allows you to send the links to your digital products. Okay. So let me show you guys what that looks like behind the scenes. So right here, um, here's mini chat. Um, and basically as you guys can see, I have tons of mini chat automation set up. So basically what I'm saying is like, Hey, once they comment on my post or send me a message, um, then I'm going to send them directly to the link to, um, check out and buy the digital product. Okay. As you can see here. So that's that you guys. Um, I updated this message, so it's not the original one, but I'm basically sending them a link to this checkout page right here in Thrivecart um, or Stand, depending on whatever you're using. And I'm saying, hey, buy my offer. And again, based off of my math, with this particular offer, out of every 100 views, I'm going to get three sales. So I need to get 100 people a day so I can make, you know, it's 197 to make like between, if it's a coupon or not, between 450 to $600 in passive income semi-passive income every single day. Okay. So that's what the process looks like. The last thing I would say is patience. You guys, you need to have patience. I think that a lot of people get really frustrated because they're not growing fast enough, but I've been at this for almost five years. And if you're just starting out, like the more content that you produce, the more people and more traffic you're going to get. If you have a budget, I would say get as good as you can with creating content, get your first 30 to 40 pieces of content up and then start selling right away, like right away. Because once you train your audience to buy from you, they will buy, period. And I think a lot of digital product creators wait way too long to start selling. So if you have expertise, you're good at what you do, sell your stuff, okay? You just have to be clear and sell consistently on a daily basis if you want to make sales every day. So reminder, have an offer that people want to sell, have traffic every single day, whether it's from carousels, reels, ads, SEO, whatever, pick one thing and stick with it. So if you're going to stick with reels, go and go all in on reels for the next three to six months. Then from there, you need to give them some sort of value, some sort of um, belief shift, some sort of education. How-to content works amazing. People crap on how-to content all the time, but honestly, it's like some of my best performing content. So educate your audience, inspire them. Um, and then from there, ask them to take the next step and automate the ask, right? Give them a call to action, comment the word. And then from there, use mini chat to automate sending your checkout link do that every single day and watch the sales roll in. Now me, I'm don't post content every day. <laughs> I don't have the energy. So I use my ads to do a lot of the ads for me. So yeah, it costs me a little bit of money to make a sale, but I'm always profitable at least with my digital products, at least a two or three X. 
So for every dollar I spend, I usually get between two to three dollars back. And then also I sell high ticket offers where I get six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars back. Okay. So that's how you're going to automate selling your digital products on Instagram. It's a few different steps, but it's really the, putting in the work every single day in and out, not giving up on yourself, catching that momentum, giving value, serving your audience and being focused on growing your audience every day, nurturing them every day and selling to them. And before you know it, you're going to have a six figure plus digital product business, whether you're doing digital products by itself or you're doing it on the side, like I kind of do, because I sell mostly high ticket, but I make easily well over six figures, multiple six figures in digital products every year because I have a system to sell. So that's what I have for you guys in this video. I know it was mouthful. Hopefully it's really helpful, um, but comment below if you have any questions, what products do you sell? What's your niche? Um, and feel free to drop your Instagram handle below. I'd love to take a look. Um, and I will get back to as many people as I can. And then lastly, if you love this video, please subscribe. It helps the algorithm get my videos pushed out in front of more people. Also like this video, um, and share it with anybody that you think may need it. So hopefully you found a lot of value. I loved filming this one and definitely follow me over on Instagram at Latisse Hudson. And I will see you guys more for more content, all about digital products, high ticket sales ads, and everything in between when it comes to online business. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.